Lei Feng was a soldier of China's People's Liberation Army who died young in the early 1960s after devoting his life to selflessly helping those in need. He is widely regarded as a role model for altruism in China. He was a soldier, and during that time, when、uh, most of the soldiers or other people needed help, he was always helping them. More than five decades later, the legacy he left behind still inspires the Chinese people to do volunteer work. Deeply touched by Lei Feng's spirit of selflessness, in the year of 2012, some international students at Central China Normal University (CCNU) in Wuhan formed the Foreign Lei Feng Volunteers Association. In 2012. Um, most of the international students were volunteering in different parts of Wuhan, and we decided that we wanted to come together as a group. On、um, 2012 April, we came together, formed the Yang Lei Feng Volunteers Association. He had a good heart of helping others, but they came to know about him when he already died at the age of 22. But up to today. We as volunteers, we keep his spirit alive forever. Most of people who are joining these volunteering activities, especially here in our school, I can say they are from Africa. Most of them. We at the college really, you know, would like to express, you know, our gratitude to you all for your, I mean, the、uh, contribution. I mean, you know, especially, I mean, just in line of the、uh, living spirit.、Mm-hmm. The members of Foreign Lei Feng Volunteers Association have participated in many activities and regularly appear, help out at public places such as train stations, blood donation centers, and environmental protection events. The Wuhan station is so big. If someone doesn't know well the the place, then it's easy to get lost or to not be able to find where to take the train. Aniha. 啊，请问你先拿过去，我帮你查一下。啊，没事，我我知道。哦，你知道，哦道好道，哦好的好的好的。啊，你这个在 B 二，你这个去 A 二，看到了那边吗？四号车厢是吗？是的，是的。在春运和日常的五一以及十一节假日的时候，华师的杨雷峰支援服务队就会主动的去申请加入到我们五铁的小桔灯。支援服务里面，那么他们在火车站开展的是扶老携幼，以及在候车室以及进出站口、售票处，那么开展的是引导服务，为旅客进行答疑解惑。No matter what you do, it won't be easy. If you want to do things well, you must work hard, embrace failure, learn from it, and achieve success. This is a well-known sentence in Lei Feng's diary. Which encourages the Foreign Lei Feng Volunteers Association to confront the difficulties they come across during volunteer work. The most imp- very difficult issue is about to communicate with the, the people that we are saving. We need to use Chinese. For example, we are saving at the train station. We have to use Chinese language to communicate with them. So, in recruiting members, most of times we consider people who can speak different to communicate. In Chinese language. Um. Now, 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 When we finish class, the way they come over to me, the way they appreciate me, it has made me really appreciate the work. It gives me a feeling of joy. Good morning. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, we continue.、Mm-hmm. How old are you? You will tell me how old I am. How old are you? Okay. What is your name? Stand up, please. What's your name again? Okay, good try.、Uh, I am 11 years old. Okay, thank you. Good try. Oh, 13. Okay, that's good. Sometimes it's like to teach the children English, just very simple conversations.
just to spend time with them, to make them happy. Sometimes we are playing some games with them. <laughs> Since the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, members of the Foreign Lei Feng Volunteers Association have been actively involved in the fight against the epidemic. We help students in many other in many ways, giving them their daily needs like the food, masks, and sanitizers. For this school set up a platform where students can order online. Then every Thursday and Saturday, we were to distribute those things. By that time, when talking to my parents, I was just assuring them, please don't worry about me. I feel like I'm at my home because there are people who are taking really care of me. These foreign Lei Fongs have begun to learn the spirit of Lei Fong in their own way and want to introduce the spirit to their own countries. I would also like to do something of this kind, like to establish volunteering team back home so as to make this Lei Fong spirit alive forever.